Hey, Motor Man here. And listen, there's two things. If you learn nothing else about riding a motorcycle, you gotta know two things. First is how to stop quickly. Over the past couple of weeks, I've shown you several exercises for proper braking. But the second thing is the proper use of your head and eyes. The faster and further you turn your head and eyes, the better. Out on the road, a car pulls out in front of you. If you stare at that car, you're probably gonna run right into it. If instead you turn your head and eyes and look for your escape path, it makes, of course, avoiding the accident really easy. So I'm gonna go through this exercise and I'm gonna put on a helmet cam so not only will you see it from ground level, you'll see the motorcycle, but you're gonna see it from my point of view so you understand how fast and how far I'm turning my head and eyes. While in the friction zone, you have two options with the throttle. You can either hold a steady throttle or you can constantly blip the throttle. Blipping the throttle allows me to ride a little bit more aggressively, but that's just something you're going to have to figure out for yourself through feel. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it, and you'll discover which is best for you. So from my point of view, what you want to pay attention to is how fast and how far I turn my head and eyes. I'm gonna make a circle so my head is turned the entire time. There's no straight part to a circle. I'm just looking for that green cone. That's my focus point. I can't see it till I get halfway around. My head turn comes just before I get between these two cones. Do another circle. So my head's turned. I'm looking for that green cone, looking for it. There it is. All right, now we're in the intersection. And remember, pay attention, and I'm going to show you this from my point of view, as well as this camera on the ground. Notice how quick and how far I turn my head and eyes. There's green cones, green tip cones throughout this exercise. I'm going to make sure I find those green cones before my brain tells me to. So as soon as my turn is completed, I'm going to look for the green cones. This is a great exercise if you want to practice your U-turns in both directions. All right, here we go. Looking for that green. Looking for that green. Turn my head and eyes as far as possible. Of course, I'm in the friction zone. Got just a tiny bit of pressure on the rear brake to help steady the motorcycle. And I'm getting my head and eyes around as quickly as I possibly can, and as far as I can. I never look at the opposite side that I don't want to hit. That opposite side on the street would be the curb, so you never want to stare at that curb. That's all there is to it. All right, and you should work this in both directions. So. If your U-turns to the right aren't as good as to the left, here's how to work it so that they're just the same to both sides as they should be. And of course, we're still running this special. What a great Christmas present for somebody. We've got the Ride Like a Pro Experience video, Surviving the Mean Streets video, both on USB. So you could plug it right into your phone when you go out to practice, watch the exercise, and then go and do it. We're going to throw in the Ride Like a Pro patch and a reflective sticker. And of course, the practice guide, all for $59.90. This is available at ridelikeapro.com.